Ooh, big, big alpha right there. Y'all see all these iguanas out here? Pretty cool, right? Look at that. Look, this guy's this guy's trying to back up. There's an iguana right there. Hold on, hey, wait, there's an iguana behind you, dude. Dude. Hey, there's a there's an iguana. Guys. It doesn't seem like these iguanas are very smart. There's an iguana back there. Hold on, sir. As you guys can see, these iguanas are causing a lot of problems here at the boat ramp. It's pretty busy, and these iguanas are just lounging around, guys, claiming territory. Look at this guy right here. And they're just, it's like, it's like Jurassic Park out here, guys. There's so many of them. Guys, we're, on, we're at the marina. We've got Black Tip H right there getting some bait. And we have spotted some massive goannas. Look at these iguanas, guys. They're not even, they're not even scared of anything, guys. Look, he's like sniffing around looking for some food. Guys, look at all these iguanas. Invasive lizards taking over the great state of Florida. And it seems like they're out here thriving. There goes the alpha. So, yeah. Oh, big iguana swimming right there, y'all. Big iguana swimming right there. Yo, get him with the bow. You got him. You got him. You got him, dude. Perfect. 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 We can't let any of these invasive species go, y'all. Nope. Euthanize them. Put them in the bag, yo. In the bag. Let them bleed out humanely and euthanize. Right? Yeah. So guys, as you guys can see, we got a giant one in the boat. We haven't even left the boat dock yet, guys. But, uh, put him in the bag. Let's go see if we can catch some more, right, Bryce? Let's get it. What Let's happened? do it, yo. People were trying to back out their boat, but there were so many iguanas that it almost caused another accident, guys. But a uh, huge shout out to our boy, Bryce. I think he just got the biggest one. He just taught him a super fat lesson. Yeah, we had to make sure to make this boat ramp as safe as possible. People are coming in and out all day and we don't want to cause a boat accident or anything that doesn't need to happen you know what i'm saying exactly exactly definition of invasive <sighs> okay guys so you guys seen what happened guys the iguanas were taking over the boat ramp huge shout out to bryce he just taught the alpha a super fat lesson we got him in the back of the cooler we're, we might eat him up for lunch so stay tuned but we want to do a uh, like a surfing turf, right, dude? Exactly. Something on land and something in sea. Exactly. 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 So we got the land part figured out. We got the boat. We do have a catch pole, but we need to try to get on some fish, guys. And once we do that, we might try to find a nice private island and then we can do... Oh, my goodness. Back. In the back. Taking the risk, he'll find me. So, okay, okay, guys. Got some kayakers out here, some jet skiers. Hey, don't get lost out to sea. A lot of crazy stuff. Then we got some people on a sailboat just kind of just posted up. There goes some millionaire homes right there. Very nice, future home right there, y'all. And it's for a sale. I think we should go make an offer, dog. We should. Y'all accept Bitcoin? Nice. <laughs> what is it? What is that? Is that a catfish? <laughs> <laughs> is that a catfish? <laughs> I'm like, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. It's an armored catfish? Oh, no. This is just a little saltwater channel cat or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. They have the spikes. Oh, oh yes, yeah. they got the sail cat, which has the long spikes. And this one, which can get you. My friend got poked with one. And, uh, they, they got some toxins. In it. it hurt you. Yeah. Take it, man, just for a little pull on the rod, right? Yeah, all day. Yeah. He poked you. Yeah. Oh man, 
sting in just a little bit. You can feel them toxins going in my bloodstream right now. <laughs> Fish on, boys. Oh. No, he's still on. Sheesh! Okay. We'll take him, y'all. We'll take him. Okay. Uh, it's probably a cat, though. Hooked up. Let's pray for not a cat, not a cat, not a cat. Yeah, it is. Oh! oh. Yeah. It's like, yeah, like you said, with these catfish, they don't bite and take off with it. They just kind of pick it up and run with it. You yep, know? yep, 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 yep. You, you don't really know until you start reeling it back in, but let's start making it a trend to eat these, you know? Right. Like, maybe they wouldn't be everywhere if somebody would eat these things, man. Take well, a little initiative, a, a initiative. Once we're, if we're catching them and they're edible, I mean, they sell catfish for what, like $12 a pound at Publix? Literally, man. Right, and we're over here catching them left and right. Back in the day, lobster was a trash fish. And now look at it. Lobster, hoo ha ha. In the bag. <laughs> All right, so guys, you guys see it right there. We are fishing. We can't predict what fish are gonna bite our lures. But as you guys can see, we're hooking up on catfish and we just caught the biggest one today. So with that iguana that Bryce got earlier and this catfish, safe to say that we might have a catching cook coming soon. Stay tuned though, guys. We might catch some other fish and have an even better catching cook. There's only one way to find out. Oh yeah. Just keep on watching. Oh my God, we're on something big, y'all. What do you think it is, bro? Uh, hopefully it's a big snapper or a big jack. Oh. Get the net, get the net. Oh, it up. I don't know. Hopefully it's not a fat pussy cat. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no. my gosh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Another one in the bag. Wow, that thing freaking took off, man. It took off. Look at that thing. It's like a baby shark. It took you a dragon on, man. Look at that thing. Well, we got the clicker on, so it's very, the clicker is a little bit uh, dramatic, you know what I'm saying? But that's a fat. Look at, look how, look at the stomach on that thing, dude. We're going to be cooking this one? Yep. We're going to be cooking this one right here. Let's do it. One and done. That's what we call a one and done there. Good shot, man. Yeah, dude. It was Good crazy shot. how the arrows go straight through their body like that. Straight, clean, pass through, uh, yeah. right through the vitals. Just super humane, super quick. I mean, he's basically dead on upon impact, you know what I'm saying? Just, right. That's it. We just brought him right in, put him in the bag, and, and now we're going to be, uh, I guess, having him for breakfast, right? I, I guess we're going to be doing, what, a surf and turf? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we came out here. We like our one of our goals was to go, you know, catch some stuff to eat because we're trying to do this little challenge of living off the land. Got an invasive green iguana. Okay, we went fishing, and then look, check it out. Got some, got some catfish right here. Look at this. These big fat saltwater catfish. Ninja, you ever had catfish before, bro? Uh, not at all. But I can't wait to put him in the bag. Careful now. He can still spike you now. Probably got poked right there. Yeah. Bryce, what do you what are, what are your thoughts about this catfish, dude? I think we need to change the stigma on that they're bad. I mm -hmm. think people are just not filleting them correctly. True, true. And, and cooking them probably right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, possibly. Just like the uh, hasa, yeah. the hoplo. Yep. Um, I fried it instead of cooking it in a curry, in a stew. And people told me that that's why it tasted bad. It could be potentially why people don't so like this. maybe... People just don't know how to prepare and cook it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Weighs about a good heavy two, three pounds. And, and he's got some really nice, soft tenderloins back here right there. So. Look at the colors on him, though. He's got some blue colorations. Yeah. and Very beautiful. Yeah, very, very like ocean stream-like catfish. This isn't the typical catfish that you find in your neighbor's pond, guys. No. This, is a, this is like a predatory one. And it lives in the ocean. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. It's aerodynamic. And, and the color and the pattern is just... Look at that right there, guys. You guys can see it for yourself. It's just it's just beautiful. But, guys, part of the challenge is we are going to be trying to eat. So we got some iguanas. We got some catfish. They're in the bag. We're going to see you guys in the morning, and we're going to have some breakfast, all right? Stay tuned.